During this period of industrial revolution, there was a great need for natural resources. This included iron, coal, and oil. These natural resources helped with innovations such as building bridges, help moving trains, or even something as simple as a nail. Before an easy way of acquiring oil was found, people would wait for it to seep from the ground. Other than that, they used to burn the whale fat as another type of oil. This became extremely pricey and time consuming because as more and more of the whale population died off, the prices of oil got higher and higher. So eventually a man named Edwin L. Drake gathered up enough money to create a steam powered engine to dig up oil from the ground at a faster rate than people had previously done it. Drake struck Pater in Pennsylvania with this new invention. Oil was used for numerous things such as kerosene, grease for wagons and tools, and eventually gas. But before automobiles came into play, gasoline was seen as a waste product and thrown out. Iron is a natural resource found beneath Earth itself. In fact, the Earth's crust is 10% iron. The first use of iron was approximately found to be used 4,000 years before Jesus Christ. The Egyptians had used iron in their weapons and jewelry. Iron is strong but also cheap, which made it easy for people to buy. Steel is a mixture of iron and other metals to make it stronger. Iron was used for mainly architecture, such as building bridges, buildings, and railroads. It was also used for tools, machines, in factories, and various other products that led the way during the Industrial Revolution. By using steel, it guarantees the structure of anything built out of it to be very sturdy. first discovered in Virginia. It is another resource found underground. People dug up these mines to access these areas of coal. The distance of these tunnels could go for miles. Coal today is used for many things such as generating electricity, filling things such as trains and boats. It is also used as a source of heat to keep warmth or even a way to cook up a nice barbecued chicken. When the first steam locomotive made its first appearance in the 1830s, America had a dream, connecting the east and west coast to make one nation. Abraham Lincoln had an important goal to have the Transcontinental Railroad built. In the 1860s, it was beginning its process of being built. It was officially completed on May 10, 1869. The Transcontinental Railroad was built by a mixture of races. The white men working received between one and three dollars a day, but workers from China received less and were supervised by the whites. It also ended the centuries old way of life of the Native Americans and altered their environment. When building the railroad, it required laying over 2,000 miles of track that stretched through some of the forbidden landscape of the continent. Tunnels would have been blasted out of the mountains, rivers bridged, and wilderness tamed. 
the Union Pacific began laying track from Omaha to the west, while the Central Pacific headed east from Sacramento. Progress building the railroad was slow, but it quickened with the end of the Civil War. The railroad changes lives, changed lives of all of America, enabling anyone to travel coast to coast in a matter of week versus the months it took with the wagon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. During the Industrial Revolution, there were several inventors, many of which brought about great change. Some of these inventors were Thomas Edison, Henry Bessemer, Alexander Graham Bell, and Samuel F. B. Morris. Hmm? You see a guy like me? Why so serious? Thomas Edison patented a thousand and ninety-three inventions in his time. Early the moving picture camera, the, the phonograph, as well as recreating the light bulb in a much more usable fashion, often confused as the father of modern electricity. When in reality that was Nikola Tesla. Edison did succeed in harnessing electricity in a very safe, particular way. With lights, people became capable of working into all hours of the night, and it was key in developing a middle class. Henry Bessemer was best known for his contributions to the iron industry, the process of mass producing iron. The Bessemer process is named after him. Bessemer developed skyscrapers. Alexander Graham Bell was born in 1847 and died in 1922. The Alexander the Graham Bell invented face. the telephone or speech machine and the photophone. Samuel F. B. Morris was born in 1761 and died in 1826. Samuel F. B. Morris invented the telegraph.